You're listening to Winnipeg's Classic 107. My name is Simon Rusnak. The show is Morning Light, and it's brought to you by Photo Central. We've reached Andrew Taves from the store. Good morning, Andrew. Good morning, Simon. How are you? Well, I'm doing very well. It's great to see you. The last time we spoke, you'd just reopened the store to the public after the initial COVID-19 shutdown. That was, that was back in June. Uh, t- tell us about the past few months. How have things been? They have not gone as we expected, given all the circumstances. Uh, we've actually had a, a fantastic year to this wow. point. Uh, That's great to so. hear. That's great to hear. Thank you very much. And I do want to just give a big shout out to all the listeners because you guys have been a huge support for us this year. And uh, it's always good to see people coming in who are uh, like-minded in their musical uh, in- interests. But uh, yeah, the year's been good. It's It's been busy. There's been a lot of challenges. We've had to change a lot of things or adapt to a lot of things, but it's been a good year. So. Well, I'm, I'm very excited and encouraged to hear that. Um, one of the things that we talked about uh, when, when you were last on was how photography is a sort of um, solitary, often socially distant thing in and of itself. Did, did you find a lot of new people coming in the store, picking up the hobby, just looking for information? We did. Yeah, there's a lot of new people coming in or a lot of people who have perhaps in the past just dabbled, but felt yeah. that it was time to get a little bit more serious about it. They wanted that new piece of gear. They would just wanted some information about whatever part of the hobby they were interested in. And so we have seen a lot of new people coming in. It's been encouraging. No kidding. Um, and as a photographer, I mean, I just love to hear that. It's nice to know that people are out there making images. And I mean, I, I know the weather's changing now, but there, I think there's still a little bit of color left on the trees. It's a beautiful time uh, to get out and, and, and make some images, isn't it? It is. Yep. And this is the time of year when people can get very creative. You can walk out any day and you don't know what to expect. You don't know what you're going to see, whether it might be a a new migratory bird or new colors or frost or who knows. And it's a wonderful time to be a a creative photographer. Absolutely. And and the the thing that I... I'm hesitant to say love most because there's a lot of things I love about the fall, but the light, there's something special in the air this time of year. It's fleeting. So uh, enjoy it while it's here. Exactly. Uh, So once you go and make those images, uh, I I really strongly believe, I feel like we talk about this all the time because it's, it's important to me and I know it's very important to you. Images shouldn't live on hard drives. Can you, can you talk about printing and why that's important? Absolutely. We find with our customers, we have a a wide range of customers, a wide range of demographics with a lot of different interests, but the people that are having the most fun and getting the most satisfaction out of the hobby are the ones who print. There is something to be said for having that tangible print, whether it's just in your hand in a small form or whether it's on a wall or it's just the joy that you get in being able to give it as a gift, uh, whether it's to a friend or to a family member, the prints are what drive the most passionate people in this industry. And that can really be anybody. It doesn't have to be somebody who's just nailed a perfect print. It can be anything. Grandma just wants to see her grandkids in a picture. Even if they're a bit blurry, it doesn't matter. Get them in a print. But if you get that stunning fall scene that you want to put on the wall, do it. Uh, There are so many different ways to express that photo in a print. It's not just a simple print all the time. We're happy to take you through a lot of options, whether that's a canvas print or what we call a museum float, which really is a striking way of presenting an image and so many other ways. Um, and uh, like you say, there's just so many ways that you can present a print, but also if people find old prints. Like I'm, I'm just thinking right now, there's some old photos behind me. You guys can colorize those and, and, and restore them in a way as well, right? If they're just a little worse for wear, if they've been around for years. Absolutely, we can. Yeah, restoration has become a lot easier and a lot quicker over the years. Uh, colorization as well. And we do, we're getting more and more demand for that kind of thing, especially now uh, with a lot of the boomers uh, moving into new houses or out of their houses. They've got to clean up and they're find, people are finding these wonderful old prints and they want to do something with them. So we're, we're able to restore them if they're cracked, faded, stained. We're able to colorize them or just get a, a bigger version of it. Whatever needs, needs to happen, we can do uh, so I, I know that you don't have a crystal ball. No one does. But I'm curious about these next few months. These last few have been fantastic by the sounds of things. Uh, heading into the holiday season, I know it's still a ways away. But is there anything people should be aware of? Like I'm thinking of, of demand and, uh, you know, some challenges that might exist given the COVID-19 pandemic getting gear and product here. 
There are a lot of challenges that we're facing right now, and those are going to continue for the next few months. Uh, supply on the hardware side is definitely an issue. Uh, if you're interested in anything these days, uh, get it sooner than later. Uh, we, what we don't realize here in Canada is that factories started shutting down in December and January. And uh, whether that was in China or Japan or anywhere else that, that we see our products manufactured. And so the supply issues have just been compounding ever since then. Um, and we could go into a lot of detail as to why, but just be no, know that right now hardware is hard to get. And it can be something that's brand new or it can be something that's been on the market for 10 years. Everything is difficult. Our companies have admitted that they underestimated demand. They felt that people wouldn't be spending money. The opposite has happened. So products new and old are, are hard to get. And on the printing side, like we we're talking about, a lot of people have been looking at those old prints this year as something to do while spending their, their time isolated. And our lab is busy. And in the past, we've been able to avoid deadlines at Christmas time, which is by far our busiest time for printing. This year, we might have to put a few in if, if things keep going this way. So uh, the sooner you can get those projects done, the sooner you can get them to us, the better. Yeah, so you're saying uh, I should probably get on that sooner rather than later because I know I have yes, some stuff should. I've got to submit. Okay, <laughs> good. I will get right on that. Uh, Andrew, always good catching up with you. Great seeing you and wishing you well into the fall and winter. Thank you very much. I appreciate it, Simon. Morning Light from 6 until 10 on weekday mornings is brought to you by Photo Central. Visit them in-store, Portage at Lipton, 957 Portage Avenue, or online for unmatched customer service care and quality, photocentral.ca.